the ongoing cleanup from the coastal flooding here in New England. This is uh, this weekend in Hampton Beach, New Hampshire. Water flooded a number of streets following some high tide there. Today, construction crews work to repair the roads damaged by the floodwaters. And that cleanup is happening as we're dealing with all the strong wind. We have team coverage of the weather. First alert meteorologist Pete Bouchard has an update on the forecast. We want to begin with Jericho Tran, though, and the latest on the cleanup in Hampton Beach. Rebecca Clocher has lived on Hampton Beach for about five years. My house is an island every time it floods. But this winter's flooding is unlike anything she's ever seen. Five years, this is the worst it's ever been. Barely three months into 2024, and this is already the third significant coastal flooding event in Hampton Beach this year. Nearly 12 and a half foot high tide, which is remarkably high for us here in Hampton. Hampton's Fire Chief and Emergency Management Director Michael Mahone has worked in the area for over 30 years. This year seems to be worse because the, the very high tides that we've had have been higher than any that any of us uh, who have been here for a long time can recall. Sunday's high tide started just after 11. Closing down sections along Route 101 and Route 1A. It happened pretty quickly and they were overly prepared for it, had the street shut down. With water reaching about 10 to 12 inches between Rye and Hampton along Ocean Boulevard. That led water into our elevator shaft and our exercise room and our community room. To about two feet along Ashworth Avenue. It was a little over two feet, so it wasn't as bad, but still, it left all this mess in front of the house. But neighbors say Sunday's floodwaters weren't as damaging as the flooding Hampton Beach experienced back in January. It was almost uh, through the rafters, the last flood that we have, so luckily it wasn't as high. A lot of people had to move out across the street right there because uh, their houses were damaged by the flood. And right now, Hampton residents are still waiting to receive funding from FEMA for the flooding that happened back in January. Meanwhile, they're going to assess the damage, or at least still assessing the damage from Sunday's flooding. That's the very latest here at Hampton Beach, New Hampshire. Jericho Tran, NBC10 Boston.